Manchester United keen on potential pound 130 million plus transfer, player will have final say. This would be an ambitious move for the Red Devils, especially as it looks like Bellingham is now expected to cost more than 130 million pounds, according to the Times. The England international is undoubtedly one of the finest young talents in world football at the moment, and it won't be easy for any club to win the race for his signature in what will surely be a fierce battle for his signature. Manchester United look to be on their way back up, though, with Eric Ten Hag doing some impressive work since taking over at Old Trafford, with the club now looking in a strong position to finish in the top four. That could help them attract a talent like Bellingham, but the Times insist the player himself is in no hurry to rush into a move. According to the Sun newspaper, Manchester United will hold a meeting with Jude Bellingham's representative today. A high bid is expected for Jude Bellingham to join Manchester United at the end of the season. So what is your opinion on this? Should £130 million be given for Jude Bellingham? Eric Ten Hag reveals the qualities of striker Manchester United need to sign. Eric Ten Hag has revealed the specifics of the forward Manchester United should sign this summer. The Red Devils currently have Anthony Marshall and Wout Weghorst on their books. However, Marshall has rarely been available this season due to his injury issues, while Weghorst is expected to leave Old Trafford at the end of the campaign. A new centre-forward is the top priority for United in the upcoming transfer window as they strive to mount a serious title challenge next season. In an interview with Sky Sports, Ten Hag revealed the qualities of the striker that the club needs to sign. Ten Hag said, we need a striker to score because we have the ability to get the balls into the box, so we need a forward to score goals. Tottenham Hotspur's Harry Kane and Napoli's Victor Osimhen are the Red Devils' number one targets. They are among the best forwards in Europe, but we believe United should sign Kane. He is a proven Premier League goalscorer, with over 200 top-flight goals to his name. A deal for the 29-year-old is likely to cost less than signing Osimhen, with the England international's current contract expiring in June 2024. European giants are interested in signing Manchester United's Mason Greenwood. Express reports that Italian side Milan are interested in signing Manchester United forward Mason Greenwood in the summer window. United are yet to decide on the future of the England international amidst an internal investigation of the charges that were put against him. They rejected offers from Turkish clubs in the recent past. The report reveals that Milan are impressed by the 21-year-old's technical ability and hence want to sign him. They want to challenge Napoli in the Serie A next season by adding more firepower to the forward line. United boss Eric Ten Hag has already made it clear that he wants to sign a striker in the summer window. He clearly mentioned that the need for a goal scorer is apparent to take this team to the next level. So what's your opinion on this? Should Mason Greenwood Milan be sold? Eric Ten Hag opened to keeping Anthony Marshall at Manchester United next season. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has said that he would like to keep Anthony Marshall beyond the ongoing campaign. The Frenchman has suffered five separate injuries this season and he has played just over 850 minutes for the Red Devils. Despite this, the 27-year-old has been successful with seven goals and three assists and Ten Hag believes he is a great player. Speaking to reporters, the Red Devils boss said that the forward has the qualities to play top football and United play better with him. When asked whether Marshall will be at the club next season, the Dutchman admitted that he would personally like to keep him. Ten Hag has publicly backed Marshall on several occasions this season. The Frenchman now has to repay the faith by making regular goal contributions. The big question is whether he can stay fit for the remainder of the campaign. If he fails to do so, there is a high chance that he could be sold this summer. Marshall is no longer considered as an indispensable figure at United and his performances between now and the end of the season could decide his future. In our opinion, the former Monaco ace has the ability to turn around his fortunes but another injury setback could spell an end to his Red Devils career. Manchester United will have to pay £30 million to sign Marcel Sabitzer permanently. 
According to the Daily Star, Bayern Munich are now asking for a higher fee following the midfielder's impressive displays at Old Trafford. The Red Devils signed Sabitzer on loan after Christian Eriksen suffered a serious injury in an FA Cup match in January. United didn't negotiate an option to buy Claus in the player's deal, with the player reportedly valued at just £20 million at that point. Sabitzer was struggling for game time in Germany but has established himself as an important member of Eric Ten Hag's team. He has made 13 appearances in all competitions, including eight in the Premier League. Seeing how well Sabitzer has adapted at Old Trafford, United should sign him permanently. Tottenham Hotspur, Aston Villa and West Ham United are also keen on the midfielder. If the Red Devils hesitate to meet Bayern's demands, other Premier League clubs could take advantage and complete a move for him. Diogo Dalot could continue in new role for Manchester United amid injury crisis. Manchester United defender Diogo Dalot may continue from the left-back position in the coming weeks due to the club's ongoing injury crisis. The Red Devils are currently missing several defenders with injuries. Lisandro Martinez is out for the long term with a metatarsal fracture while Rafael Verani has been ruled out for a few weeks. Meanwhile, Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia are nursing minor concerns and it is unclear whether they would be fit for the upcoming games. In our opinion, this could directly benefit Dalit, who has been in and out of the starting lineup this year. The Portuguese was an undisputed starter from right back before the World Cup but since the restart, he has struggled for regular minutes. Dalit started at left back against Nottingham Forest on Sunday afternoon and produced an impressive performance over 90 minutes. The Portuguese won four out of his six duels alongside two tackles. He capped the display with his maiden league goal for United. The Sictas want to re sign Manchester United striker Wout Weghorst after loan stint. Turkish giants Besiktas are interested in re-signing Wout Weghorst following his loan stint with Manchester United, according to The Sun. The Burnley striker spent the first half of the season on loan with Besiktas. He was hugely impressive for them with nine goals and four assists from 18 games. This convinced United to sign him on a temporary basis in January. Besiktas were compensated to terminate his loan deal before he moved to Old Trafford. It is now reported by The Sun that Besiktas are prepared to re-sign the Dutchman this summer despite the striker's decision to leave the club last winter. Burnley are likely to prefer a permanent transfer but it is reported that Besiktas could propose another loan deal for the former Wolfsburg striker.